Bakshi brought to animation was he was the only one making features besides Disney. And he had 12 or something, and Disney had so many, you know, and no one else was making it. And he was pushing it in an envelope the way Warner Brothers was pushing Disney, you know, in the comedy side and, you know, maybe an edgier side, which kind of appealed to me. And John Chris Felucci did the same thing, groundbreaking with Ren Stimpy. That was groundbreaking what he what he created and in and, and the sense of comedy and pushing the envelope of comedy. And he didn't play it safe, you know, and, and to me that appealed to me to play the edgier kind of comedy, which to me I was, you know, I loved Disney animation. It was a magical world, but I was drawn to Warner Brothers because it was so funny, you know. And I, I think, you know, that kind of sensibility without pushing it too far is kind of, you know, in subconsciously or consciously in the Madagascar movies of just trying to push. There's only so far you can push in a, in a, in a DreamWorks movie, um, and that's fine, but I, my sensibility is more to the left of what Ralph and John were doing, I think, than um, the softer side of Sears, so to speak, you know. I always loved drawing. I will always love drawing because I started in traditional animation. And, um, and, and to me, that's where creativity comes from. Writing is an equivalent to that, but in, I just love the art form because you find so much by drawing an idea because it leads to another idea and another idea and another idea. And, uh, but that said, I think you know, directing is what I love the most because I get to work with, the, to me, when you do a number of films, you get to select the people you really love working with and get and, and enjoy working with and appreciate and respect their talent. So I just, I love working with people that love animation as much as I do. So directing, hands down, is what I enjoy the best. Solving problems is always a great accomplishment, you know, of like, you know, um, fixing a story issue or making, plusing a bit of animation or a scene because it all adds up. But the greatest joy I think for me is when the movie's finally done, is sit in front of an audience who's never seen it before and just see how they react to it. And it's better than any box office. It's better than anything. But you have to know by the time the movie comes out, you're so tired of it. You're so tired of watching it because you've watched it 5,000 times, seen a million iterations of it. And, uh, and so the movie's done in your mind. Once you mix and print master, it's, you don't want to see it again for another five years. So I think the, the thing that makes it all worthwhile is the process. Four years, three years, two years, it's working with these people and, and you know, problem solving. And sometimes it's heartbreaking and, and you know, it's, sometimes it's war, you know, but um, it, that's, that's what I love the most, being in the trenches with everybody. Because if you don't love the process in animation, you shouldn't be in it. Because there's no reward at the end once the film's, you're, that's done. You're thinking, what's next? How can I work with these people again? It's been awesome. And I feel like a student again. You know, and, and you know, to have Alvy Ray Smith, who made a big impact in my life with this Wrath of Khan Genesis. And I remember it's like, you're the guy who did that. And it had such a huge impact. Glenn Keane, Glenn Keen, of course, was a teacher of mine at CalArts. And, um, and he's still doing what he loves to this day. And I could still learn from him. And he's still one of the best on the planet. And uh, so when I hear Glenn speak, I feel like a student again, you know. And, and, and I see all these young people here, and it just reminds me of when I was that age. And I'm just, you know, even though animation is so much bigger now, there's, it's still the, all those people that had a passion for it. And something as a kid made them go, I want to get into animation. And so it's great to see, you know, even in a, in a different country, that kind of enthusiasm for it. But I keep learning too. I think you can never stop learning, you know, and you never stop, you know, looking for heroes to be inspired by and that sort of thing. And, and this, what The View has done is just, it's the most impressive collection of, of, of people from diverse fields and plus um, all the enthusiasm of these young people that want to get into animation, I'm just caught up into it. And I almost, I feel like I'm 20 years old and, and just getting into animation again.